Alright, buddy. Change some in episode 7, man. So this episode was actually pretty good, man. Guys, I'm actually enjoying Chainsaw right now. Like, the aesthetically, art-wise, color palette-wise, I'm enjoying it very much, man. It's very clean to see, very appealing to the eye, as some might say. But let's get into the review, man. It was a solid episode. Um, We start off, obviously, where we left off the last episode with Denji jumping straight into the Eternity Devil's mouth. Pause. Wait a minute. So basically, he, he goes ham. We know Denji. He goes ham, man. He puts out the chainsaws. He goes crazy. He's just slain, 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 slain. He runs out of juice. He meant... Alright, we get a flashback. We get a flashback. This is actually a, a wonderful flashback right here. So we get to see Jimeno. And I'm not sure the other dude's name. But Jigen's voice actor. The character he's playing. We see him. They're in the graveyard, basically. And he's basically explaining how people that are sane that join the Devil Hunters organization, they end up dying. Because they got no drive. They got no... Come on, motherf Like, they got nothing, man. But people that are, like... Ill, like meant, like ill, like really want to succeed in whatever they want to accomplish, or whatever they got their mindset to. Those are the people that are will survive longer than people that are that go insane, and that was a wonderful flashback right there. And then that's where I'm gonna cut forward a little, but that's where Himeno gets word for Aki, cause in her mind. She she picks she pictures Aki as a regular sane and good loving person, and that's and that's why in the last episode we saw her we saw her struggling like she was shocked that Aki got stabbed because she was like she he's about to die basically yeah all right now let me cut back a little now so we just see Danji going ham. On this eternity devil right here, man. Going to ham. The devil's going crazy. Denji's going crazy. The art and color palette was looking amazing right here. Nothing crazy animation wise, but it was still very clean to see. Appealing to the eye. As, yeah, appealing to the eye, basically. And then we cut to um to Himeno, Aki, um, Power, all of them just in the hotel room, just chilling, sleeping. That boy. I, that boy Denji is still going for three days straight. He was going ham. So basically, the Eternity Devil basically said, "All right, man, I'm sorry. Just kill me. Here's my heart. It's wide open. Just slash me at this point." And he's like, "That easy?" And it happens. They're out of there. And Denji at the end ends up finding a piece of the Gun Devils, of the Gun Devils. Um, yeah, a piece of the Gun Devil basically, the little metal shit. And yeah, so. And we get a, another flashback of, was it? Yeah, we got another flashback of Aki and Himeno, basically in a restaurant again. And I like this backflash in particular because the last flashback we seen last episode, Himeno was the one giving Aki the cigarette. But in this episode, Aki is the one giving Himeno the cigarette. You see? And that's beautiful right there. That's kind of awesome right there. And then um, we cut to them in the alley. And they're just basically saying... They're basically saying how... Um, Colbini and the other dude, they want to quit. So we should go out for drinks. Like, go out, get some food and shit. So we can get the group back together, basically. And there we are. We cut to the, to the feast. Everybody's munching, everybody has beers, except for Deji, because Deji is revealed right here. He's 16. I'm not sure if that was the first time getting revealed, he was 16. But yeah, he was 16. He was like, I'm drinking tea. And then he gets reminded that he still, he could kiss Himeno, basically, because he, he got them out of that situation, basically. And Jimena's like, nah, yeah, let me get a little more drunk. I'm too shy right now. And then, um, and then, um, Makima pulls up out of nowhere and he's like, what kiss? And then he starts going, freaking out on some, some shit. 
And then they end up kissing. Himeno and Denji end up kissing. That bitch barfs in that motherfucker's mouth. <laughs> she barfs in her mouth, man. That is wild. That is disgusted. I remember seeing that shit in the manga. I was like, what? That shit is crazy. And everybody just starts laughing. Um, We get a flashback of, of Denji and Pochita when they were very little. It was every time we see Pochita and Denji when they're little, I, I don't know why it breaks my heart, man. Like, I actually, I kind of tear up when I see that shit, man. Because um, I got a dog myself, and I know, man, I know Denji's, I know he's going through, man. And that shit is beautiful. He's like, they basically, um, Denji was like, look at these rats. They're eating barf. And that motherfucker got barf kissed for the first kiss ever. This awesome scene, like, Denji. Like, we just seen he couldn't even afford to buy peanut butter and jam. I mean, bread and jam as just like a food source. And now he's in a restaurant enjoying some tea, enjoying some chicken, enjoying a burger. That shit is awesome to see, man. He's winning. He's winning, man. He is winning. What else, man? What else was this in, the, in this episode? I think that's it, man. Well, nah, I'm tripping. Himeno picks this motherfucker up, takes Denji to her crib, and that's where she gets spicy, basically, man. We see Denji's, like, start, he starts waking up, but he's still, like, out of it. And he's, like, he's just moving his head, like, that side to side while he's on the bed. And then Himeno puts up out of nowhere on some such shit, man. She's probably, like, 25, 20-something. And Denji is 16. <laughs> and she puts up out of nowhere no pants on she's she's not naked but at that point she might as well be man she gets on top of him and kisses denji for another time but that bitch has still has something in her mouth she has some beer or some shit man and then that's where the cliffhanger ended man the cliffhanger was her she's like do you want to do it and that's where i left off man it was a solid episode amazing i'm i'm enjoying chance on this so far it's nothing crazy like like, Bleach right now is pretty crazy. Each episode is like, hey, yo, what the fuck is going on, man? What's, what? Denji, I mean, Ichigo is part Quincy. What, what's going on? Here's, like, with Chainsaw, it's more mellow, like, enjoying the vibrant colors, like, type stuff right here, man. I'm enjoying it right here. But anyways, guys, this was um, Chainsaw Man Episode 7 Review. And take care, man.